Hey, we're here at KubeCon 2022, and I've got my friend Matt, Matt Yakubuchi with me. We're going to do a little bit of a dissertation on what's going on with the Kubernetes Gateway API. So, Matt, I've been hearing a lot of buzz. I follow a lot of the influencers in, in the Kubernetes space, and I'm hearing time after time people talking about the Kubernetes Gateway API, the, the work that the SIG's been doing with that. And I know at Nginx we've been right there at the beginning of it all. So I understand that recently you just had a really significant uh, um, release. Yeah, yeah. So we just released 020. Um, it's still early in its stages. We're still a bit of an experimental project. But what we're trying to do is, is follow along with the community, the SIG Network Gateway API community, help feedback into implementation details, and then build an implement implementation ourselves. So the recent release and the previous release were focused mostly on API surface. We want to make sure that we can fulfill as many of the API features as, as possible uh, with, a, with a limited team. But what we just, what we just did is, is we made a shortcut earlier that uh, we would only route to service cluster IPs. We've backed off on that and we now route directly to pod IPs, so it's a much more dynamic system from that regard. We've now added in uh, backend weights. So the backend is the is the the final endpoints that the, your routes will go to. We, maybe we should talk a little bit about how the API is structured, and it's structured in in a, in a tiered approach where you have a gateway where there is this head object that that represents your load balancer or represents your ingress controller. Then there are routes that that talk about or describe the traffic and where it, it goes to. Those routes uh, eventually reference a backend object. That backend object is going to be a Kubernetes service. It could also possibly be another route, uh, only to a certain level, so only a, a two-tier level. There's no, it's not an infinite way of building routes. But that eventually goes to a, some leaf endpoints. So now going back to the feature that we just added is we were just using the cluster IP. Now we're using the pod IPs. That okay. builds more dynam dynamicism, dynam <laughs> dynamism into the, into the feature set. Um, and then also allows it to be a little bit more reactive. Something else that, that we recently did was then add in backend weights. So now we have a much more robust traffic splitting story. We can traffic split based off of methods, paths, query parameters, headers, and now you can do weighted backends where we can split 80% of the traffic to 20% of the traffic. So now we start hitting more and more real life use cases. Okay. Uh, then we've also just, you know, like I said, it started off as a little bit of an experimental project. So we can now do, um, we now are, we can live in multiple different namespaces. We're not bound by the namespace. We think this is a developer efficiency that we've built into it. Uh, and then there's some bugs that we fixed. Uh, there, were, there was a, like a, a shutdown problem where it took a little bit too long to shut down. Now it shuts down a lot, a lot cleaner. We also handle query parameters in a much more consistent way. We normalize those, and so therefore you can you can split query parameters, and um, and we we don't we don't make poor routing decisions based off of case or anything like that, which is adherent to RFCs and also adherent to the, the Gateway API spec. Very yeah. cool, very cool. So um, I know that a lot of the work is pretty fledgling in the, in the Gateway API space. And I've heard, uh, I've heard a number of different rumblings, but as far as um, where we are in that cycle, would you say alpha, beta, pre-alpha? How, how close are we to like what you would consider to be, you know, something that would be in a uh, let's just say a dev usable space. Okay, so there's two tiers that we need to think about. We have to think about the API surface and the, and the API versioning, and then we have to think about the different implementations. All the implementations are realistically experimental in alpha, including us. We're a 020, a zero release. Okay. Um, we feel that we're, we're very early on the, on the product life cycle, but the API itself is, is V1 beta 1. Okay. So it is mature from the Kubernetes standpoint uh, and pretty solid and adherent to backwards compatibility. We're not going to break things that, that as, as we go forward because, um, because, because of the, the Kubernetes API principles. Uh, 
it, it will take a four release, I think it is, or, or three release to, to deprecate and remove anything out of the API. Okay. So from the API perspective, we consider it maturing to mature. Uh, and then implementations, uh, implementations are pretty, pretty wide across the spectrum, but still, still generally alpha. If you go to the SIG networking page, uh, many of the implement implementations list where they're at, and and it's still it's still pretty alpha along the lines. Okay. Yeah. All right, that makes sense. So let's just say I want to get started and give this thing, you know, maybe a, a field test or at least look at the Git repo. Where would I go to do that? So uh, I'm pretty uh, <laughs> fond of our implementation. So you go to it's right on GitHub. It's an open source project. We're happily looking for contributors. If you're a fan of Nginx and want to work on Nginx translation and adap adapter layers, uh, but it's uh, Nginx Inc. Uh, Nginx Kubernetes Gateway. Yeah. All right, awesome. So there you have it. That's what there. Was. That's where you can at least go started with one RR flavor of the Gateway API. Hopefully you'll come out there and take a look. And as always with most of our open source tools, we, we accept contributions. So uh, have a look. If you see something you want to contribute to, make it happen.